There are three significant things that happened today that will affect the future of Chicago. First, Senator Kirk and I came together on a bipartisan basis to select the new U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Illinois. Following in the footsteps of Patrick Fitzgerald is no easy assignment, but the person that we've chosen, Zach Farden, is up to the job. In fact, I think he'll match Mr. Fitzgerald in terms of uh, his performance. We chose him through a totally bipartisan process, evenly divided Democrats and Republicans, and both came to the same conclusion. He was the right person for the job. The President agreed with us. Secondly, today we had um, his uh, installation as the U.S. Attorney and an important announcement for every person living in the Chicagoland area. The Attorney General of the United States of America attended this ceremony and announced that there is a new initiative, a new program underway out of Washington to help us fight the gang violence and shootings that are going on too often in the Chicagoland area. He announced that there's going to be a diversion of asset forfeitures into the Chicagoland area to fight crime and to stop the violence. The Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms uh, Division is going to devote even more personnel to this effort. We are going to do everything we can with the limited resources because of our budgetary challenges in Washington, but everything we can to make certain that we have a seamless effort between federal, state, and local law enforcement to reduce the level of crime in the Chicagoland area. From the very first meeting that Senator Kirk and I had with Zach Farden, we made it clear this was our priority. Not to the exclusion of other things what the U.S. Attorney must do to fight public corruption, to deal with the threat of terrorism and white collar crime, but because of the level of violence and killing in the Chicagoland area, we wanted him to pay special attention in the U.S. Attorney's Office to reduce this violence. Now the Attorney General is on board, the President is on board, the federal resources are headed to the Chicagoland area. And I can tell you that Senator Kirk and I are going to continue to work on a bipartisan basis to make that effective in making this a safer community for everyone living here and everyone visiting. The last point I want to make was a statement by Zach Farden himself. After he was sworn in as the new U.S. Attorney, he made it clear that he understands this responsibility, not to the exclusion of other responsibilities, but he understands this responsibility to work with those who were here, the mayor, uh, the Superintendent um, McCarthy, as well as the Attorney General, Lisa Madigan, and the State's Attorney, Anita Alvarez, and all the law enforcement to make this a reality. We hope that this bipartisan effort by Senator Kirk and myself will lead to a safer community here in the Chicagoland area. 